it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. Today, Julie will be reviewing and testing out a magic chrome powder pen to see if it works on her nails. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the review. When you first get the magic powder pen, it comes wrapped up so you know it hasn't been tampered with. Then once you peel back the wrapper, you're revealed with this beautiful rose gold chrome middle piece and a matte shine on one side and a shiny black piece on the opposite. The middle piece color changes depending on the color you pick. We picked pink lemonade because we hopefully wanted to get a really pretty rose gold effect. The shiny black side unscrews to reveal an applicator, a sponge tip applicator. And then if you look down the barrel of the matte side of the pen, you'll see a little disc of powder. And this is where the chrome powder pigment comes from. And when you screw the applicator back in, it picks up a little on the sponge, and then you're ready to apply it to your nails. There were no instructions on the packaging of the product, but on the product website page, there are how to use steps. They're pretty vague, so I did kind of have to use my experience and plug that in, but there are some instructions. This product claims to have everything you need in one pin for a magic mirror effect. And right off the bat, that's just not true. This does not come with a base coat. This does not come with a black color coat or top coat, but it does have the powder pigment and applicator in one pin. So let's see if it works. The first step is to apply a base coat. I'm just popping one on real quick, curing that according to the instructions. And then the next step was to apply a coat or two of black gel polish and cure that as well. The next step says to apply a gel top coat, which in my experience, you have to use a no wipe top coat gel when you're using effect powders or it simply doesn't work. So I'm assuming that's what they meant, even though they weren't specific about it. So I did apply a layer of the no wipe top coat gel and then I cured it and now it's time to see if this product works. So look at that guys, it's going on super smooth. I was super impressed. It had just enough powder to push into the nail so that the effect came through strongly, but it wasn't oversaturating the nail. I did feel like the applicator was a little bit rough and was picking up some of the places that I had previously laid down powder, but if you dab on the powder, I found that that fixed that problem and overall it looked really good. But here's where it started to go downhill. So I tried to reset the powder by putting it back into the applicator, giving it a little shake and try to get some powder back on that applicator. But as you can see, halfway through this nail, it started to run out. It did give a pretty cool effect, but that's not what we want. We want to cover the full nail with this gorgeous chrome color. So I popped the applicator back into the handle to try to get more pigment on the sponge. And I tried tightening it just a little bit to get some extra contact with the color. And when I did that, the handle completely snapped. It still works, but that kind of just shows the quality of this product. So I found that tapping the top of the cap gave me the most, and when I say most, I use that loosely, amount of pigment on the applicator. But it just was not enough. I was getting tons of gaps, and when I tried to go over the color to smooth it out, the sponge, because it was so dry and didn't have any pigment on it, would just pick up the chrome that I already laid down. Eventually, with a lot of persistent tapping of the pen, I was eventually able to cover my entire nails. But guys, I don't think there's a a lot of product in that pen. And if there is, the way that you refill your sponge isn't working very well. There needs to be a better way to do that. The last step is to apply top coat, so that's what I did. And overall, the chrome effect is really pretty. It's not the most reflective. In fact, it's probably the least reflective chrome powder I have but the chrome effect and rose gold effect is there, so it is pretty, just don't look too close. Overall, I don't think I'd recommend this product, especially because you don't get a lot of pigment. This would probably last one manicure if you're able to get that amount of product out of the pen. I think you're better off just buying a pot of chrome powder pigment and then some eyeshadow sponges. You're gonna get a lot more applications and better results. If you enjoyed this video and wanna watch more Cute Polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. Thanks for watching, bye.